Hello, this is Paul Bergen from the Mars Hill blog, which you can find at www.paulbergen.blogspot.co.uk. I'm continuing a series of blogs about the history of polar exploration and Arctic Antarctic exploration in general over the past uh, nearly 200 years. And today I'm going to talk about the first crossing uh, on the surface of the Arctic Ocean. I want to say surface, obviously not under the sea, but on the top of the ice. Because obviously being at the top of the world, the Arctic Ocean is covered, by most of it by and large, by a nice, large ice sheet. And this was done at no mean feat, even today, given the way that it, because it is a nice sheet, it does move, the ice does move. Um, by... Um, Sir Wally Herbert, and he was a known uh, Antarctic explorer, and he led a small team, uh, and it had to be a small team of, I think, about a total of five people, with dogs, including Herbert himself, with dogs, and they had a, a using tent, and also they had a packed um, prefab hut. Uh, for the winter, because obviously they would have to winter over the ice, which again is is no mean feat even today. And this was um, from 1968 to 69, and they set off from Point Barrow in Alaska, and they were not quite as near the North Pole as they hoped. By the time winter set in, they set in over the ice. They kept in communication. But what was frightening is even at the start of the summer, sorry, it started towards the end of the winter, I do apologise, um, the ice was already starting to fracture and they had quite near their prefab hut, which is a small hut, just enough to hold just about the size of your average living room, uh, really. Uh, with And it was deliberately cramped with beds, small kitchenette, small um, radio area and everything else because in order to retain warmth. Um, but one ice factory got near that and the ice, the storeroom which they built in the sort of large igloo ice cave and they had to start moving and abandon the hut uh, as spring was about to start. They got to the North Pole in April 1969 which... Fuchs described as like trying to land on a, the shadow of an eagle moving around it, or shadow of a bird. Well, more precisely, I can't remember the exact quote, which is hard enough, uh, but was no mean feat. Uh, they were constantly stalked by polar bears uh, through some of it, which was quite hair raising, but they never shot one unless their lives were in immediate danger. Uh, they tended to fire warning shots so as to try and scare them off. Uh, but they reached uh, Spitsbergen or Svalbard, as it is now, uh, in the early summer of 1969. Over 400 days on the ice. Um, but, incredible. And even today, it's no mean feat. Very few, if at all, have crossed the Arctic Ocean um, with dogs or sledges or in skidoos or anything like that. It, it's just so dangerous and so unpredictable. More, well, a lot of polar exploration is in today, but even more so in that kind of thing, especially as you would have to winter on the ice. And, um, yeah, and that's the story of the first crossing of the Arctic, apart from on air and under the, o under the ocean. Cheers.